the ad incentives on Twitch are getting ridiculous. So, this is an insane amount of fucking money. This is a ridiculous amount of fucking money. $44,000 a month. I cannot imagine running this many unskippable ads on Twitch. Bag is big, but what about the viewer experience? Do you know what's so fucking funny about this? The fact that he says that this is how much for only six minutes. Imagine only running six minutes of ads. So you guys know Cody, my real life friend. He and I grew up together. He streams. He's a small streamer. And they gave him an offer. And they were, they were offering to pay him a premium of like thousands of dollars for running 10 minutes of ads. So I made a tweet about this. And I said, no, where is it? This is not it. Let me make sure I've got it up here. Uh, I said, by incentivizing eight plus minutes of ads per hour, Twitch is effectively paying streamers to kill their channel and ultimately the website. Also, don't be surprised whenever this becomes the norm. The amount of money being offered is life changing for almost anyone. And I will use the analogy that I used in Warcraft is if Blizzard put a button in the game that if you click that button, it would give your character a million. Yeah, Cody's in chat right now. There he is, Don John. And if you clicked that button and it gave you a million gold, everybody would universally agree this is a bad thing for the game, right? We can all agree that having a button in the game that will infinitely generate millions of gold, the more you click at it, will be bad for the game. Yes, 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 right? But what's the caveat? Everybody's going to click it. Everybody is going to click the button. Because it kills the stream. Yeah, bro, it's, it's awful. And so this is what ends up happening. But everyone would click it. Yes, exactly. And this is what Twitch is going to do. Is they are going to put numbers. Like, all right, so let's look at this guy's... Uh, let, let's look at how, how much viewership he gets, right? So we've got this guy's stream, okay? So uh, Admiral Baru, and he's got, uh, let's see, 40... So he's streaming 40 hours a week. 181 hours a month. That's a pretty good amount, about 40-ish hours every single month. And his average viewership is uh, 7.5K. So let's go ahead and let's break down. Let's do a little bit of calculus, okay? Let's do some calculus. And we've got 44,000 for 7.5K viewers. And let's assume that the hours streamed are effectively the same thing. So how much would they pay somebody like me? Um, well, and I'm not going to talk, like even on my second channel, I mean, clearly, I have 21,000 viewers, 7,000 times 3, or let's say a little bit less than that. I'd be getting paid over $100,000 a month to spam 6 minutes of ads. Over $100,000 a month. Let's do my main channel. So, average viewers was 75,000. Uh, now it's zero. Yeah, it, it, we, we got ourselves a big old fucking goose egg right now. However... Uh, let's say it was 75,000. I, I was not getting 75,000 average viewers then. I was during Lost Ark and the Johnny Depp thing. Let's say, uh, let's say 50, 60,000. How about 50,000? Yeah, I fell off. Yeah, this is a fucking, <laughs> this is a, this is an L plus ratio here. And so anyway, um, let's say 50,000. We'll make it very simple. 50,000. And let's take 50,000 and let's see. So 7 times 7 is 49. And so it's a little bit more than that. So let's just multiply this 44 number by um, 6.5. So uh, just to round it down a little bit, because it was 7.5 and multiplying it six times or seven times will obviously result in a, you know, excess of about 3,000, uh, 3,500 specifically. And so anyway, let's go ahead and do calculator, uh, open a calculator. So we're going to go ahead and multiply uh, 44,000 and uh, we'll just round it down just to keep these numbers simple. And uh, times uh, we'll do seven. $300,000 a month. You know what? I don't think ads are that bad. I think ads are actually pretty good. Yeah, this ad situation's not that bad. Uh, you know what? I mean, like, listen. Like, it, yeah, look, you download Twitch Turbo, you figure something else out about it. Like, look, guys, that's it. Yeah, I mean, what's wrong? You should do it, dude. The thing is, you know what the best part about this is? It doesn't stop at six minutes. It keeps going up to ten. So if you take this, right, 
So if you take this, so let's take 44,000, divide it by six, so this is the dollar value per hour, and then you multiply this by 10, which is this number, 73,000, and then you multiply that by seven, then if I ran 10 minutes of ads, I would be pulling down half a fucking mil every month. Isn't that crazy? And that's just from the ads. Top of the hour, every hour, dude, this is a scheme. I know, bro. This is insane. Yeah, oh, it's insane. I know, it's nuts, right? It's a lot of fucking money. Uh, that's wrong, though. You have a different dollar value per minutes. So I am assuming that these numbers are not generated bespoke. These are generated. What that means is that they're not generated by by hand for this individual person. These are generated through an algorithm. And I am assuming this algorithm factors in ge geography. It factors in the average viewers, obviously. It factors in the hours streamed and it probably factors in hours watched. And I think that it might also factor in a number down, is it somewhere around here? I forgot where it is. The amount of time that an average viewer spends inside of a stream. So I think that there's a number over here that I can pull up and show you guys. Let's go ahead and see. 100% correct, uh, what I got as well. Yeah, yeah, it's something like that. Let's see, can I find any of these? Uh, I forgot where the, uh, maybe it's under statistics. Let's see if I can find it here. Um, ah, shit, I can't. That's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, overall, what I'm saying is that this is something that's probably an algorithm. Maybe I'd only get 400,000. Can you imagine that? Bro, I'd be getting, I'd be getting scammed. Imagine, bro, I only get 400,000. That sucks. I'd lose money, yeah. With Twitch removing the exclusivity contract, can't you stream simultaneously on Twitch with the ads on YouTube? Um, no, because, uh, you, you can't do that. That's why. Uh, you can check, uh, on each stream page. Just click on one. I, I tried to look up mine, and they didn't show mine. Like, there was no, uh, there was no number they gave me. So, uh, I think it's because I haven't streamed for a while. And, uh, that's probably why they haven't made a number. You can see mine, fuck it. Well, Cody, like, you sent me yours. We need to do a video, like, maybe we'll do it, like, next week or something. Where, like, I want to interview and, like, interview you and have you talk about kind of, like, what, like, the, the weird fucking, uh, prisoner's dilemma they put you in with this fucking ad shit. So, anyway, like, these ads, here's the point that I'm making, okay? Like, I, I, the, the, I, all I'm doing is I'm just, I, I've just been talking about big numbers, okay? Big numbers, better person, let's move on. Next thing is the fact that people are going to start doing this. And I think that the exact same thing that caused people to leave television, one of the reasons, is going to start happening online. And you guys are going to say, well, I'm going to leave. But here's the problem. Eventually, you'll run out of places to go. That's what I think is going to happen. I don't find this to be a... Uh, to be something that's just going to happen every once in a while. Uh, it's I think it's going to continue getting worse, etc. No ads in books. Uh, actually, there, I mean, in some magazines there are ads, and then also, like, some books they put inserts for, like, you know, different types of, like, for the publisher in the back, etc. Not necessarily true. However, I think that, yes, clearly that is generally the case. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, let's just be honest here. Nobody's going to say, man, I, I hate these ads. I'm going to go read a book. You're not going to do that. Okay, yeah. That's what, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I'm going to find some... Uh, you can just uh, find the content going on other platforms. Yes, I know that, but what happens whenever the other plat... So this is kind of what happens, is that it's effectively... Um, it's a place where people don't necessarily know where they can go because the amount of places that they can go gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So let's use this as an example. Um, I don't know. Let's let's use um, uh, like like racism and like saying uh, you know the homophobic F word. So back in 2006, you could pretty much say this wherever you wanted, right? You could say it wherever the fuck you wanted to say it, and nobody would really do anything about it. As time went on, more and more websites blocked the usage of these words. 
And the people that wanted to use these words and say these things went to the websites that didn't. And then the websites that didn't began to do it too. And then now, almost no websites allow it. And you know what really happened? Did it cause all those people to leave? No, it didn't. It just caused them to stop using those words. So that's what it is. World star comment section? I, bro, I've never seen a world I've never seen a world star comment section. I have no idea. Uh, is it money incentive based on people sticking around and watching the ads? Um, most people do stick around and watch the ads. Every viewer has this power fantasy, like, if you watch ads, I and everybody else are gonna leave. But the reality is that that is not the case. Because if it was, they wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, it's literally like commercials on TV. And people will only keep doing it if they can find a way that they can, uh, they can find a way that they'll be able to uh, go somewhere else and get the same thing out of it. But they're not able to do that. You see what the problem is there? Because, like, if you can go to YouTube and not get ads, you're going to go to YouTube and not get ads. But what happens whenever YouTube has this too? Well, then where are you going to go? You're going to go to Rumble? You're going to go to Odyssey? You're going to go to one of these other places? No, probably not. Uh, you're probably just going to complain about it. I would also use another analogy is um, sponsored streams. So I've been on the internet for a very long time. Doing any sort of sponsored content six years ago was automatically met with a lot of hostility and negativity from viewers. But then the viewers that felt that way went to other streamers who didn't do sponsored content and they said, thank God we're finally here with somebody who's not a complete fucking sellout. And then that person started selling out. And then so they went to somebody else and they said, thank God, I'm finally here with somebody who isn't a sellout. And then that person did a sponsored stream. And sooner or later, these people either left the community or they accepted it. And now sponsored streams are commonplace and they are all the time. That's just what happened. I'm not talking about a projection. All I'm saying is that past tense will indicate future progress. And that's what it was. It's a business decision. I don't see why chatters get upset. Their favorite streamers are trying to make a little money. It's their jobs. Well, it's because making the money, like the, the chatter, you don't care about how much money I make. If I make $10 million or $1 million or $1, this doesn't affect you. You don't care. It doesn't increase your experience. This is not relevant to you as a person. So... A viewer only has a responsibility to enjoy the content. And if they don't enjoy the content, they're going to leave. So if ads are happening all the time and they don't enjoy that, then they're going to leave. However, clearly, not enough people do that. Because if they did, then they would get rid of these ad incentive programs. But they don't. Twitch lost 20% of its users this year, though. Not sure where people are going, but they're definitely going somewhere else. Well, Papa, I wonder if that's because of Twitch being a bad website or because of a global pandemic ending. Now, I wonder which one it really is. Yeah, both? Um, can you say both? Has YouTube, like, I know Netflix has had the same things, and you can easily argue that Netflix has had people leave because of, like, woke TV shows and stuff, but I feel like that's probably a, uh, this is a mountain out of a molehill. Um, both? Uh, what do you, what do you, it's bad, both? Is it, it's a bad take? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Under what basis do you say that it's both? What indicator is it that people are leaving Twitch to go to other video streaming websites as a result of the ads? You have no basis for this. There's, this is your, these are your feelings. These are your feelings because you wish that was the case. And so you just repeat it and you think that it's true. <laughs> yeah, come on. Listen, if you have evidence for it, I'll look at it. But you don't. 
There's ads everywhere. Yes, there are ads everywhere. Exactly. No, my feelings. Yeah, exactly. I'm basing it on my own experiences of your bro. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's fair, right? I, that is fair, and I think there will be people that leave Twitch, but I think what will happen is that whenever they go somewhere else, the, those other places will adopt this ad structure as well. I think this will be damaging for Twitch in the short term, and also even in the medium term, but I think that over time, other websites will start adopting similar policies. Because once they see Twitch do it, and they see Twitch is doing it and it's okay, well then they're going to do it too because it'll make them more money. And the argument that it could be damaging for the business won't work as well because there's already a use case of another business doing it and it working well. That's just what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, it's just like you have to look up YouTube, Twitter, and these other platforms and also figure out like what some of the other reasons are. Uh, I just don't think that you can isolate down one variable in this circumstance and then say that's why it is. What's your opinion on people that think wanting to make money is something negative and it's basically a controversial topic? So, streamers don't like, uh, sorry, viewers don't like streamers making money because it separates the streamer from the viewer. A lot of viewers watch streamers because they relate to them. That's why on Twitch, that's a majority dominated uh, male website, uh, all of the top streamers are males. It's because most of the people on the platform are males and a gender barrier is harder to overcome for relatability. So in general, people are going to watch people who they relate to in just a, a general sense. Uh, whether it's how they look, what gender they are, the games they like, they're going to look for people that they can relate to. So guess what? A lot of people relate to guys because there's a lot of guys on the platform. So what does that mean? I think that it means that viewers are looking for a person who they can have common ground with. And I think actually one of the big things about the COVID, uh, you know, the boom on Twitch and everything, especially with like, you know, coinciding with Among Us, etc., is that it took a lot of streamers and their popularity into the stratosphere. Right. You had people like um, Valkyrie, uh, Disguised Toast, um, uh, like, let me think, some of these other people that just like kind of get a corpse husband, uh, these people that were like really, really into Among Us. And these people started making like millions and millions of dollars. Saikuno, there's another one. Yeah, Saikuno, these people started making millions and millions of dollars. And I think that a lot of the idea that, you know, oh, we just reached, you know, 10,000 subs together, etc., it doesn't feel as much like we whenever the person who's saying we is actually a person who owns a Lamborghini. Do you see kind of what I'm saying? And I think it's also, yeah, Ninja too, right? As people lose that relatability. And that's why they don't like it. Also, I think that there are people who view streaming as just something that's like really, really easy to do. So they get mad whenever a streamer makes a lot of money. And again, this is something that people think with professional sports as well. How many times have you heard people saying that it's stupid that somebody gets paid millions of dollars to throw a ball around? How many times have you said that people are saying that actors are overpaid? Uh, this is very common for people to uh, downplay or disregard the, the, the amount of money that somebody in entertainment is making. So I think that there's obviously a precedent for this with pretty much every other form of entertainment. And whenever streamers are getting up into that echelon of making millions of dollars, it disconnects them from the viewer. Because the viewer is also sitting in their room in the dark, playing video games, yelling at the screen, except for they're not saying thank you for the, you know, $5,000 donation or thank you for the sponsor that's worth $200,000. So I think that in the process of that, the viewers want to maintain a connection with the streamer and also the viewers develop a degree of resentment towards the streamer for making a lot of money because the viewers feel like the streamers that are popular got lucky because they, they feel like they should be in the same spot that streamer's in. They feel like the only reason why they're not in front of the camera entertaining millions of people is because they just didn't get lucky. That's it. Or some other reason that's out of their control. So yes, that's why I think that viewers don't like whenever streamers make money. 
They think that it's unfair because the streamers make too much money in their mind. And I think that's the same precedent that's been set with professional sports and acting and every other form of entertainment. And then also, I think that it separates them on a struggle level from the streamers. Not necessarily. Oh, you know what? I think you're right. I think that there are exceptions. Thank you so much. Thank you. God, thank you so much. I forgot about the exceptions. Wow. You're so smart. Thank you so much. We've been saved. Uh, what's this here? I like the dude that showed up uh, for the re-release of Spicy Nuggets in a, sh in a suit. Yeah, exactly. How do you solve that problem on your stream, Asmon? The way that I solve it is I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't act like I don't give a fuck, or I, I do, but it's just the way that I actually feel. Like, yeah, I make tons of fucking money. Like, it's obvious. I literally own two companies. I make a ridiculous amount of money. It's, I'm totally fucking fine. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just direct and honest about it. I think that being direct and honest about things in 99 out of 100 circumstances is the right option and the best option to take in the long run. So the number? I actually don't know what the number is. That's the truth. I, I literally don't know. I lost $172,000 on my investments last month. That was a, that was not a, it was not a good month. Hmm. Yeah. This next part of the stream is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. You know, stocks are rough this year. Who gives a fuck? This is what it is. But yeah. Um, riding a wave. Yeah, it, it's, it is it is what it is. So the ad situation on Twitch won't influence you considering other streaming platforms? No. No, uh, uh, not really. I mean, I, I don't really care what Twitch does with the ads. I only care about my stream. I don't care what Twitch does. Who cares? You know, my, my relationship is with my viewers. Twitch is only the avenue that I do it in. That's all. Your viewers are smart and use Adblock anyways? <laughs> um, a lot of people use Adblock. A lot of people don't use Adblock. Let's just say that. And it doesn't work? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, ever talk about doing your own streaming platform? You got the resources? No, I don't. You vastly underestimate how much this costs. It's because sometimes money corrupts, so it makes a streamer not be honest about what they're doing and what they really want, and they have to play sponsored shit and pretend all the time. What if I told you that they were pretending whenever they needed the money in the first place? What if I told you that a dishonest person saying, we're all in this together, whenever they're raising and trying to goad people that are surviving on their student aid money to reaching a thousand subs or 2000 subs for the first time, what if I told you that was dishonest as well? Yeah. I can start going into politics. I uh, volunteered, I wanted to do like a, a bunch of political stuff when I was younger. Uh, they were gonna hire me to do a uh, to be like a supervisor and shit for that, but I ended up not doing it. I was like 19. I applied. They called me the day later. It didn't happen. The people involved were morons, so it was a good thing. See what they offered me for a stream my size? Oh no, Cody. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I remember you told me a little bit about it. It was, it was dumb as fuck, man. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for my favorite streamers next subathon. Let's get the money. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. Listen, I've got no problem with subathons. I think they're totally fucking fine. Uh, they're content and people pay for it. Uh, I I don't think that's a big deal. It's not like like I I don't know. I think, like, again, it's these people that have, like, th this infantilization of the fucking viewers of, like, oh, well, they can't be, like, uh, they fucking, uh, they, they have to donate the money. No, they don't. Like, let's just stop it. Yeah, it's nuts. The sleeping part is boring as shit. Yeah, it's Resident Sleeper, right? Wow, what a surprise. I would have never guessed that. I would have never guessed watching somebody sleep is boring. 
Overwatch 2 today. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know really what my plans are for today all the way. I'm just going to go through and do some different stuff and, uh, you know, have fun and do what I want. Nobody will leave it uh, to another platform because there's more ads. YouTube brought in more ads and YouTube viewership increased over the years. If Twitch forcefully put ads, why should the streamer get a portion of the revenue? Well, because if, if the, the reason why is simply it's a, uh, it's a value proposition. The reason why people didn't go and organically stream on Mixer is that the value proposition was too low. That's all there is to it. So yeah, uh, any other uh, any other opinions on this before I uh, before I move on? Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll read a few of the comments. Uh, this could very well be one of the biggest forks in the road for Twitch. The money's so crazy; it's financially unwise not to take it. But at what cost? Yeah, exactly. I'm sticking to three and four minute four minute incentives for now, regardless of the payouts. For now. I do think uh, ads negatively affect smaller streamers and newer ones, though. People are less likely to shop around if it means ads. Yeah, I think that having pre-rolls for small streams is really bad for them, and I wish that Twitch changed the way that the ad ad system worked for smaller streamers. I don't get this. I want my favorite streamers to get to get paid. Yeah. Um, well, that's not uh, that's not the way that everybody thinks. There are some of my viewers that were not happy whenever I had a girlfriend. Because they didn't have girlfriends, and they felt like whenever I had a girlfriend, it was harder to relate to me because I wasn't the same as them. Isn't that crazy? Ain't that ain't that just something? Ain't that just a little bit of something, man? Yeah, I mean, I, as I said, guys, like people just don't—they don't understand how weird some people are, man. They're absolutely fucking nuts. So yeah, it's important to keep that in mind. Same idea Oprah went through whenever she lost a ton of weight. Yeah, I mean, because there's obviously people, and this is the case, right? It's like you see some person who's like morbidly obese on the cover of a magazine, and it's like, wow, you go, girl. I'm so proud of you. Wow. You know, this is what a real woman looks like, and it's just a bunch of fucking, and you read the comments, and it's just a bunch of other people that look like she does. And then suddenly, whenever one of, yeah, Slay Queen, yeah. Then suddenly, whenever this person loses weight and is in shape, Somehow this is unrealistic body standards, this makes me feel bad, and all of these things, how this person is actually a bad person. So yeah, I mean, I yeah, you guys saw this shit too, yeah, it happens all the time. It's a good story, it has relatable characters. Uh, a good story has relatable characters, it, it's normal. Yeah, I think that people want to have uh, somebody that they can relate to with streaming. I think it's a parasocial, it's a parasocial thing, but it does exist. 